Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 7. And we're about to go into Sh Shade Man, but there's a, a little Easter egg with Shade Man stage um, that I want to show off real quick. Now, if you're playing the Super Nintendo version, you'd want to hold the B button and then select the stage. Uh, on my PlayStation 2 version of the Anniversary Collection, for some reason it's hold the square button and then select the stage. And if you hear this chime, you know you've unlocked it. You've got that Easter egg unlocked. And what it does is it changes the song that plays in the background of the stage. Now, this only works if Shade Man is still alive. If you've beaten him, it doesn't work anymore. And you might recognize the tune. If you've played um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts or Ghosts and Goblins or whatever the title of it is, <laughs> um, you'll recognize this tune. And you recognize kind of the way the stage is set up too. Because a, a lot of zombies will start popping up out of nowhere. And it's just like... Oh gosh, well, forget it. <clears throat> it's just like that other Capcom game that's ridiculously hard. Well, Mega Man 7 is certainly not anywhere near as hard as Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Or Ghosts and Goblins. Now these guys, the first and third of this set of armor, the head will drop off. And also the second uh, helmet of this armor will drop off and will attack you. And the thing about these crows is they take a lot of damage and if they hit you, they laugh at you. Little jerks. Now, this stage has more secrets in it than just the alternate theme for for the stage. Um, and we'll get into what else it does later. Oops. There's basically you're gonna have to play through the stage twice. <clears throat> uh, and it all has to do with this um, mini boss. Okay, now when we go inside now, I'll, I'll explain why. This mini boss has two weak points the eyes, and on the inside, the, um, the little pumpkin thing on the inside. Depending on which weak point you end up defeating the mini boss with, um, it'll open up one of two different paths that you can take. Whoops. Now the one I want for this playthrough of the stage is the, um, I might, I need to be more careful because I'm about to die. I want to hit him in the, um, in the eyes. Oh gosh. Bet he's dead. Okay, good. And that'll unlock this path to the right. Oh my goodness, really? Oh man, I knew I should have used the knee tank. Oh well. We'll just do it again. Um, each path has its own... Um, has its own item that you need to get from it. Oh my gosh, really? Stop hitting the core, because that's gonna... Oh crap! Oh. Yeah, keep doing that attack. I like that attack. Dang it, stop it. I'm trying to get more hits in, but it's not working out too well. The unfortunate thing is the eyes are kind of hard to hit. I, th I think I find the core a little easier to hit than the eyes are, but that's just me. Yeah, keep doing that. <sighs> no, don't spit at me. I don't like that attack. Yep, okay. Alright, so he's done and he's gonna go through the wall to the right again. And that would have been nice the last time around. Would you there we go. I guess I wasn't close enough. 
And now we want the super adapter. Drop down and come up here for more health if you need it, which I didn't, but I grabbed anyway. These guys... It's kind of interesting, but... Um, there's more to those, like, wheel knight guys than we're seeing right now. But I'll explain that later on. So if we come up here, you'll notice that there's a wolf guy. Now the thing, it, it does take quite a lot of hits to, to kill. Now the thing is, these night guys that we saw before, when the moon is out, they'll turn into those kind of werewolf looking guys. Which is a neat touch. And, uh, do you see this picture of, of Wily? Summon Rush Search. And, um, have him look underneath the picture. Just right below where the picture is. He's gonna find something. It's the energy balancer, the energy equalizers it's called in this game. And I don't need you again, Rush. That's okay. Thanks for stopping by. And when we get out here, this is where the two paths meet up. And here's base! Darn, I was careless. I feel so stupid to have been defeated so easily. Maybe I should give up and leave Wily to you. <clears throat> no, we are a team. Dr. Light will be glad to fix you up. Thanks. I'm glad that I have a friend like you. <clears throat> you are far too trusting, Mega Man. But I guess... I guess he's not such a bad guy. Anyway... Um, here's Shade Man, and he is weak to the Wild Coil. Which is... I, it's just a silly weapon. But uh, you want to charge it up, and you want to... Press up to make the coils go higher. Oh god. Try not to let Shade Man grab you when he dives like that. Because um, he'll grab you and will suck the life out of you. But as you can see, the wild coil tears him up for some reason. Who knew that vampires were weak against springs? I sure didn't. Somebody get Buffy, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer on the line and, and let her know. Vampires do not like springs, for whatever reason. The noise crush generates a powerful sound wave, doesn't it? Yes, and you can amplify the wave by absorbing the reflected wave with your body. And basically what that means is if you shoot the noise crush against the wall, it'll bounce off the wall and if you, uh, you can absorb that wave and it charges your shot and it makes the wave a bit stronger. Dr. Light, what happened? Is, is that you, Mega Man? I can't see you. You're too far away. Base went berserk after I completed his repairs. He stole the parts for the new enhancements. Base? I can't believe it. <clears throat> like I said, far too trusting. Oh, hi. Believe it, Mega Man. Base and Treble are my creations. I knew that you would be stupid enough to trust him and allow him access to the lab. Now, Base and Treble will use the enhancements meant for you and Rush. And that's it. He didn't have anything else to say. Oh, yeah, he did. He had them. <laughs> Of course he had to laugh. I'll make you pay, Wily. That was awfully dark for Mega Man, wasn't it? But, uh... That'll do it for this episode of Let's Play 
Mega Man 7, we don't have to go back and, and get anything. I think we've pretty much got everything that we need. Um, we're set. And next time on Let's Play Mega Man 7, we'll go after Dr. Wily. I'll see you then.